Hello everybody and welcome to Change Bible Study. In this lesson we have looked this week at life. A lot of different aspects of it. But we want to end it by going back to the beginning. And understand the beginning of life. The origin of life. And not what it is but who it is. So let's talk about that now as we go to the book of John chapter 1. Father we thank you now that we know where we've come from. Which gives us a, a, a gravity, a core to know and have faith where we're headed. Define that and emphasize that today as we go back to the beginning. In your name we pray. Amen. The gift of life, the gift of physical life, the gift of spiritual life, the gift of social life, mental, emotional life. Life itself and all of its different aspects has one point of origin, one beginning. And we find it there in the book of John. John chapter 1 is, of course, an explanation. Really, it re-echoes what we understand in Genesis chapter 1. But I like John chapter 1 particularly for what it says in verse 4. But we're going to start in verse 1. In John chapter 1, verse 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. Now, look at the fourth verse. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. In, not with, not around, in him was life. In him, the him, the pronoun here, of course, Christ in Christ was is and will forever be life so clearly kind of turning the the vase on the other side we see that all life comes from Christ because life was and is and will forever be in him life in him I keep saying it over and over and over again because any origin any theory that gives credit to the beginning apart from Christ is not just destined to end, it really has no beginning at all. How can you get life from death? How can you get truth from error? How can you get Kool-Aid from an Avion bottle? It's not happening because the very origin is contradictory to the end. So, to the Christian, to the believer, when we really dig in and really soak in verse 4, in him was life. What that then means is that if I am in Christ, because I already have my beginning in him, that if I was created by him, and not just by virtue of creation, but I'm him or his also by virtue of redemption, he made me and he saved me, in our lives, friend, we can't help but be in the life. We can't help but have life. We can't help but live life. We are to be the most lively people on the planet, no pun intended, because we understand where we have come, where we have come from, where we have began, and that gives the depth, that gives the definition, it gives the purpose that we long for because we know who has made us and we know who has saved us. This same understanding is the same context from, from which Jesus came when Lazarus died, when Martha and Mary were devastated, when the community was devastated by the loss of this man who truly showed his love, his relationship to Christ in good works and fruit to others. When people were feeling that pain, what was Jesus' response? Go with me there quickly and look at John and you'll see there what his response was. In John Chapter 11, Jesus says it this way. In response to this loss, in response to the ending of Lazarus, Jesus encouraged everyone by saying in John chapter 11, verse 25, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the resurrection. The resurrection is not an event alone. The resurrection is not a reality alone. The resurrection is a person. The resurrection is Christ. So to illustrate what happens 
when I eat of his words, when I keep his words, when I follow his words, I, like Lazarus, get called out of an empty, cold, dark tomb of selfishness and into the light of service, into the light of sacrifice, into the light of praise that only comes in Christ. Friends, today I want you to know that you're not just breathing bios. All of us have that pulsing of the blood, the, the, the circulation of our system, the, the synapse and the, the electric pow, pow going on billions of times in our brain. That's bios. Jesus came so that we would have zoe. This can only come from the Savior himself. This can only come in a walk with Christ. Do you want zoe? Do you want that abundant life? Jesus simply said, follow me. Jesus simply said, let me in. Jesus simply said, come, just as you are, and that life is yours. Because it's not about you. It's not about what's in you. It's all about what's in him and what he freely offers today. Father God, we pray today that we would remember where we have begun so that we can have faith to know where you are with us and even where you're going to lead us. Thank you, Jesus, for this precious gift. We pray in your name. Amen. Till next time, friends, please remember that change is good.